Now, it also broke this weekend that Google purchased Boston Dynamics. This is the eighth robotics firm that they've purchased in the last six months. And this one raised a lot of eyebrows because of their close connections to DARPA. We've seen all these robots, that many of them look quite frightening. Running robots, climbing robots, pack animal robots, militarized robots. And when you look at the other robotics firms that Google has purchased, this is what you see. First, you see some that are manufacturing robotics firms, some that are focusing on vision and cinematography or specialized omni wheels. But then you see things that are a little bit more serious. We've also got, of course, their program for self-driving cars, and their dominance with maps. But look at these. We've got robots now that are walking and running, militarized robots, robot arms, robotic facial expressions, and a super strong robot called the Shaft. It even has red hydraulic fluid to look like blood. Now, Shaft that you just saw there is one of the contestants in a contest that's being run by DARPA. Now, ostensibly, this DARPA contest is to get robots that can do things in Fukushima under high radiation. And so you see these militarized robots like the Atlas robot, and you see all these articles saying that this robot could one day save your life. Well, that's not the brief of DARPA. And that's got a lot of people concerned, especially in Japan. The Shaft robot is being produced by a Japanese group of scientists. And according to Japanese law, you cannot have the government funding this kind of militarized research. So these scientists had to divorce themselves from any university research funds and from any Japanese government contracts. And they did that in order to participate in this contest. So the Japanese don't believe for a minute that these robots are being produced to save your life after a Fukushima radiation disaster. And you shouldn't believe it either. When Ray Kurzweil, who joined Google about a year ago and became chief engineer there, when Ray Kurzweil saw the Atlas robot that's also a part of this project, and everybody was commenting about how it could be used for military purposes, his comment was, all it needs now is a brain. And that's exactly what we're concerned about. That's what we're concerned about, the rise of killer robots. And you know, it's not going to just be replacing truck drivers and factory workers. These robots are going to be replacing policemen. They're going to be replacing people like these 479 constitutional sheriffs who will obey the Constitution. And there are no ethical laws on these robots. That's what everyone is concerned about. That's what Noel Sharkey and others are concerned about in their campaign to stop killer robots. It's what you should be concerned about as well. And remember that it was just about, it was about May of this year that Eric Schmidt, who is the chairman of Google, said this. He says, it's probable that robotics will become a significant component of nation state warfare. I would prefer to not spread and democratize the ability to fight war to every single human being. That's right. He would like for a few humans to control an army of robots.